guys welcome back okay so first off your girl is starving so i'm gonna try and get through this video before i eat my lunch so hopefully that'll keep me from talking too much but anyway hi welcome if you're new welcome back if you're already a part of the kk squad hi <laughs> so yeah it is friday and your girl has been peeping out some different you know palettes that are coming out releasing all that good stuff mainly on instagram you know you get them sneak peeks and this is coming up and this that and a third and i i really am trying not to buy everything even if it's something i really love something that i think is beautiful something i want to try try not to buy everything which it's not that easy for your girl, y'all know. So anyways, today's video is going to be me trying not to buy these palettes that I really want to buy. You know, I, I really want to just hit add to cart purchase. That's what I want to do, but I'm trying not to do that. So I've already failed because two of the palettes that I'm going to try <laughs> to, you know, talk myself out of today, I've already purchased this morning. I know, I know, but... You know, when this stuff drops, you got to get on it or you'll miss out. But anyway, yeah, two of the palettes I done already bought, so I'm not starting out well. Anyway, I'm already talking too much. Stomach is growling. Now, mind you, looking through my palettes, I don't think any of these palettes that I want to buy, I have a, a complete dupe for. Maybe like two of them I, I really duped out in my collection but the other stuff i'm really just like piecemeal and stuff together kind of combining palettes to you know get the same feel of a palette just so that you know i won't buy it but we'll see so anyways let's go ahead and get started okay and i actually have you know i'm just looking at a picture of the palette that i'm trying not to buy on my phone because you know i just kind of screenshotted some palettes and i'm not really going to get too in depth about you know the whole this is how much it costs this is when it's dropping if it's all because some of this stuff is already out uh, a couple of these palettes i think aren't even new it's just palettes like they're re you know dropping or bringing back for a second launch or whatever third fourth fifth launch and maybe i just missed out on it but yeah, some of these palettes ain't even like new, but a lot of them are. So the first one is this palette from Nikki Tutorials. Um, I guess her brand is called Nimya. Nimya. So it's a 15 shade palette. Let me scoot over because y'all know I got to show y'all the palette and whatnot. So here I'm looking at a picture of the palette as well as the swatches for the palette. And honestly, when I look at palettes and I try to decide whether or not I want to buy them, of course, it's whatever shades pop out at me, you know, like that really draw my attention to the palette. A lot of times it's like, okay, I love the whole color story. They did the color story perfectly. They did the palette, the layout, all that stuff perfectly. And I just want it. It's not because of any specific shades or whatever. Now for this palette, of course, what popped out at me is that dark blue. And that bright orange, <laughs> which, do I need any of those? Either of those? No, I don't. But other than that, the rest of the palette really looks kind of mm, boring to me, to be honest with you. But because of those two pops of color, it's making me want it. Um, the neutrals look like they pull a bit like mauve kind of burgundy-ish. Like, you know, there's a couple of dark you know, really dark brown shades in there. And then some other light shades mixed in, which I don't really care about. Now that light blue shimmer, really, really pretty, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys a few of the palettes that I pulled out. Let me put this picture right here. That I pulled out that just kind of was like, oh, you know, you still kind of, you already got that feel really already. So the first one, this is actually a brand new palette for me. I just bought it. It's been out for a while, but I've wanted it for a while. And so I just broke down and bought it from Glam Light. It's the Frosted Flakes palette. <laughs> okay. If you guys are familiar with Glam Light, you know that they do a lot of the kind of gimmicky type palettes. But 
their uh, quality is bomb, okay? So this is what the palette looks like. It came in this cute little cereal box packaging. It's really cute. They go all out with their packaging. But this is what this palette looks like, okay? So as you can see, you have that super dark blue in here and I have this kind of orangey, you know, matte shade in here. It even has some really pretty light blue shades in here couple of neutrals and some other pretty pops in um, the shimmers. So quite honestly, what I would be wanting from the palette, you know, the Nimya palette from Nikki, I kind of already have right here. Now this orange is not as bright, um, but am I even going to use the orange? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> But I feel like with this palette, I, I'm kind of getting the feels that I need um, out of why I will be buying that palette. Now, another palette that I have here is the Lily Croaks. This one is from Meta Metamorphosis, I guess, Cosmetics. I don't even think I've used this. I've had this for quite a while in my collection. Now, this palette here, it pulls, you know, pulls you to the green a lot. But as you can see, there's dark blues in here, light blues as well, kind of like a little bit of the orangey type feel up in here. So even though it doesn't have all of the neutrals and stuff like her palette, you know, I kind of get the feel for what I want her palette for out of this one with the blue and the orange, you know, and stuff like that. So yeah, even though this is not as close even as the Frosted Flakes, you know, it still kind of gives me those feels. Now, I also pulled out this palette, which is a palette that doesn't really have um, my favorite formula. It's from Juvia's Place. It's the Afreak, okay? The Afreak. <laughs> um, it doesn't have my favorite formula. I'll say that. But immediately, I thought about the pop of blue, the pop of orange, it doesn't have a lot of neutrals in here because this was like one of their first, like, well, not first, but this was like a different type of colorful palette for them when it came out, you know? So there's just a couple of browns in here, you know, but you get basically your red, your orange, your yellow, your blue, your green, blah, blah, blah. But as far as the pop of blue, pop of orange, and I already have a bunch of neutrals, you know, this kind of touches those bases for me. Now, another palette that I actually came across in my collection is this LA Girl Pro Artistry. Now, I have several of these and I love the packaging on these, you know, the nice hard plastic. And I also love, you know, just the quality of these palettes from LA Girl Drugstore, but you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Now, this palette does have a lot of neutrals, very cool tone, okay? They even threw, you know, the greens in here with the black, but it definitely has like that pop of blue, that pop of orange. So it still gives what I'm looking for in that palette. Now, a couple of years ago, I would have had <laughs> a whole plethora of palettes, honestly, to try and dupe her palette with because you know back in the day a lot of the neutral palettes just to get people to buy them would throw in a pop of blue just to say hey you know there's some color in there and it's like it took a while for me to realize wait a minute I have like 10 neutral palettes and they all have a pop of blue in there just because I love blue but I've since decluttered a lot of those palettes, most if not all of those palettes. Now, another palette that kind of came to mind was one of my Nomad palettes. Now, this was, I think, the first Nomad palette that I got, maybe second, because the first one I got, I think I got it in an Ipsy bag or Ipsy box. But this one is the Marrakesh, and I've had this one for quite a while. I love this packaging, but the Marrakesh from Nomad, you know, it has that bright pop of blue. It has an orange down here along with neutral shades. It even has some of those kind of light yellow shades in here, the tans. Like her palette kind of has like, it looks like that pop of, I don't know if that's like a really, really slight yellow 
just for me looking at the picture, I don't know, but you know, it even has like a pinky tone in there. Now this palette doesn't have any shimmers, I don't think. This is all mattes, yeah. So this doesn't have any shimmers, so it doesn't cover the bases with that. But as far as the pops of blue and orange and even yellows and pinks and stuff, this one definitely has it covered. Now, a more affordable palette, Cara Beauty, Cara Beauty. This one is called Before the Party. I love their packaging. Look at that. Love it. It's so, so cute. But Cara Beauty has um, palettes that have like huge color stories in smaller pans. So you can get a palette, you know, that has, that's a smaller size, but has like a bunch of colors in it. So this palette here, as you can see, it caught my eye because of that deep dark blue. It also has some lighter blues in here. They're not shimmers, but they're really pretty. It has like the pop of orange in here. Now this orange is a glitter, which I don't like and I probably won't ever use. But if you like glitter, this one does have a glitter in there. And it does have neutrals, a whole corner of neutrals up here to play with, different shades of blue. And this shade here, which is not orange, but you know, for me, I would probably be more likely to use this because it's a little bit muted, a little bit toned down, if you know what I mean, in this palette. So yeah, with this palette, it doesn't cover all the bases, but as far as what caught my eye, it covers those, okay? And then I only have a couple more things that I want to show from my collection that really is telling me don't buy that palette. <laughs> now this one here, you're going to look at that and be like, no, KK, that is nothing like her palette. And it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Because like I said, the pops that I like from her palette are in this palette, along with some other shades that I actually like better than what's in her palette. So this is my OPV Tropical Dreams palette. This is one of my favorite, just kind of eclectic, colorful palettes. Now, when you open this palette, it has like a little bit of a different color scheme than you might would kind of think it has from the packaging. This gold background really kind of throws everything off, but I love, 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 love this palette, okay? It's just, ah, it's gorgeous, okay? It has a beautiful deep dark blue. It even has orange, pretty shimmers in here. It even has some gorgeous like teal type shimmers and it pulls more green. It does have a few neutrals in here, gold tone shimmers and whatnot. So that's good as well. But as far as color schemes go, I would probably be drawn more to this than hers anyway, because I don't really use like a whole bunch of neutrals and stuff all the time, even though my eye look today. <laughs> quite neutral. I did add me a little pop of blue on my lower lash line, okay? Now, with those palettes, with that being said, not being complete dupes or really, you know, having the same complete vibe as her palette, if I did want more neutrals, I can pull this palette that I made from Sample Beauty. You know, a lot of us have a lot of single shadows, of course. I probably could have duped her palette out completely with my singles alone. But I know some of you guys might have some of the same palettes that I have, and you might be like, you know what? I really don't completely like that palette, but because of that blue and that orange, I want it. And you're not really thinking about some of the palettes you already have in your collection that have a blue and an orange in it. But I actually made this palette of just neutral mattes from Sample Beauty. I think it was on Beauty Bay I made this. You know, you just pick out whichever shade you want and, you know, you can make your own palette. So the palettes that don't necessarily have all the neutrals that I want, I can just go ahead and pull this, okay? And then another palette that I'm going to try to not buy. I'm not really saying dupe because, you know, I'm not trying to dupe these palettes out. But another palette that I'm not trying to buy is one that's like all neutrals. <laughs> so I definitely have that covered. Now that really pretty light blue shimmer in there, that caught my eye as well. And I really don't have that in a lot of palettes other than if it's an actual blue themed palette. Now I did pick up 
just recently a new super shock shadow from ColourPop, and this one is from the peeps collection so i saw this and i was like oh my gosh i really don't have any gorgeous like light blue shimmers like that and so i went ahead and grabbed this just to have in my collection before i even you know noticed her palette or was even looking at it so this is perfect for that light blue shimmer you know to take care of that and i'm good to go so those are all the palettes that i wanted to talk about for that let's move on to the next palette that i want to try to not buy today okay you guys so the next palette is this new release from Juvia's Place, okay? And I'm a Juvia's Place palette collector, so usually whenever they come out with a palette, I just buy it, <laughs> you know, period. I just buy it because I'm a collector, but this one, I'm trying not to buy, but that collector in me, it's real, it's real bad, you guys. It's only a few brands that I try to collect all of. I think it's like Juvia's Place, ABH, um, I don't have all the Beauty Bay palettes, but I have quite a few. Uh, gosh, who else do I try to collect? Uh, it's not that many brands. It's really not that I just try to collect most, if not all of the palettes. Honey, I can't afford to do that with Pat. I have quite a few Pat, but I can't afford to do that with Pat. Um... Yeah, so it's really not that many that I just collect. So I think I'm okay. I might end up buying this one. But anyway, so yeah, it is this coffee. Um, what did I say? Coffee shop palette. It's a coffee shop collection they're coming out with. But this palette, although it just looks like a nice, beautiful brown palette, you know, everyday palette or whatever. If you like those colors, there's a whole plethora of them in this palette. Um, it's still pretty. And because I collect Juvia's Place, it's hard for me to say no. So I basically just grabbed all of my like neutral palettes, like <laughs> brown dope palettes to look at. But I'm noticing from her palette, there's like four super deep dark shadows and i'm like i don't need four honey one will do me just fine i don't need four but it's like i'm sure they're all like different tones of brown it has warmer tones um i'm only seeing like maybe two or three like that are kind of cool tone but anyway so i pulled this um palette here from minted minted cosmetics this is their everyday eyeshadow palette, okay? And I've had mine for a while, so I think they might have changed their packaging, not sure. But as you can see, this one does not have any super deep dark browns in there. And it doesn't, does this even have shimmer? Yeah, it has a couple of shimmers like over here. But, you know, it's really truly just an everyday type palette with that pop of like red tone shadow in there. So it doesn't have um any of the deep dark browns and it doesn't really have any really pretty shimmers i know but juvia's place honey that them shimmers is gonna be sha popping okay so this palette really doesn't do it for me to keep me from buying that let's move on <laughs> okay i have the sweet and sticky from give me glow okay and this palette from juvia's place has what 16 shadows so it has you know good variety in there this only has six but this one does have a really really pretty deep dark you know sometimes this uh shadow here is so dark it even looks purple to me but it is such a really pretty deep dark rich rich brown that i mean honestly that's like all i need that would like cover the depth for me this one doesn't have the mid-tone browns it has oh some absolutely gorgeous shimmers of course and it has a really pretty light 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 yellow in here but like for the mid-tone browns it's really kind of lacking so that is not going to keep me from buying it <laughs> next i have the rebellious nudes from colored rain now this i just pulled for my shop my stash and i cannot wait to use it okay this palette is so so pretty to me it has beautiful, you know, warms, neutrals and stuff, but it has these gorgeous shimmers up here and it pulls like that red tone. So uh, even though this is a really, really pretty 
a warm earthy neutral palette with some gorgeous shimmers in there you know and it has like deep dark browns in here which is nice couple of mid-tones you know like how many mid-tones do i need really but it's still not giving me the same feel the shimmers are totally different in this palette even though they're absolutely gorgeous they are different so Mm, that might what kind of keep me from buying it maybe possibly let's continue okay so next i have here my morphe 18w natural wonder now i forgot i have this okay i was digging through my palace i was like wait hold up what is that okay really really pretty um and it is it's really really pretty look at this palette it's gorgeous isn't it so this palette definitely has like, you know, a pool of what is kind of like that warm, burnt, ambery type, you know, shade. It's just really, really pretty. It even pulls, you know, has some like lavender pools in here along with these beautiful kind of like, you know, mm, I don't know. Is this, cool? is, this is kind of cool. Natural one, honey. I don't know. It's kind of cool tone, right? has like a little bit of a pinky vibe to it but this row down here definitely this pop definitely um but yeah it's like a, a totally different vibe even though this palette is gorgeous it's really giving me a totally different vibe just looking at the Juvia's palette like if I just pulled this off my shelf I'd be like okay yeah that's it's just a, a neutral palette let me just do a neutral look right but no actually looking at it compared to that this one really looks kind of like pinky, mauve even a little bit lavendery, to be honest with you, you know, like with this and this. Mm, okay, very, very pretty. So yeah, no, that's not gonna keep me from buying it at all. <laughs> now this might, okay, I just purchased this Not A Box Of Chocolates from ColourPop. I think this packaging is so, so cute. But I just grabbed this, you know, because I'm like, let me go ahead and just get me a nice little cool tone uh, brown palette, right? So just looking at this palette, I don't know. It's like all the palettes that I really felt were like really chocolatey, really deep, rich browns. Like this one, I really, I, you know, if I felt like, okay, let me do a chocolatey look, I would grab this. But looking at it compared to that, no, 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 no. It definitely has like a little bit of like a mauve feel to it, even kind of like a little bit slight pink feel to it. It's so weird, you know? So, mm, yeah, nah, that's, that's a totally different vibe, okay? So now... I have this uh, from ColourPop as well. I got this a while ago, the Set in Stone. They have the warmer tone one, and then they have the cooler tone one. And this one is, you know, the warmer tone one. Now, this, I feel like, could possibly keep me from buying that Juvia's palette, even though it doesn't have the really deep, rich brown shades in there. You know, honestly, I already have them, and I know this one really is just a warm tone brown palette so like if you like the juvia's place where you're like i don't need all them dark shades in there this one is pretty cute it's from ColourPop. like i said i've had it for a little while it's set in stone and i just haven't tried it out yet now this really will cover the bases <laughs> it's like i'm duping the brand with the brand but this really would cover the basis for me for that for the darker uh, warmer chocolates this is the chocolates from Juvia's Place and this palette you know it has the darker chocolates in there the darker browns it has this beautiful warm earthy shade here kind of like a bricky brown this lighter shade and then you know pretty shimmer so honestly for the palettes that don't go as deep this one would cover those bases for me to just use as a companion palette you know, like if I put these two together without dropping them, if I put these two together, you know, I honestly, let me look at this picture one more time. I honestly feel like, you know, 
I, I cannot buy that palette. It can keep me from buying that palette. So that's what sticks out to me. I'm satisfied, okay? So I just want to show a couple more palettes just in case, you know, you're looking for something similar. I have this side-by-side -side nude palette from Nabla. Haven't tried this one out yet either, but this is a really, really pretty, um, you know, just everyday neutral palette. This one has some of the gray tones in it though. And it's very, it's not as warm at all. I feel like it's very cool. And, you know, once again, it gives, it pulls like kind of that peachy type. I don't know. It's just not as real true brown to me as it looks like when you just look at this palette. But when you look at it compared to something else, it doesn't really give that that warm earthiness to me. So that's a pretty palette. I also have my Dominique Cosmetics transition palette once again has like that the pinky tones pinky pull to it but it does have like some beautiful you know gray tones down here very very cool tone um a couple of warms some that pull a little bit of pink again got the yellow tone up here in the lighter shades so yeah even this not the same. I have my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Divine Neutrals. So this one is called Divine Neutrals from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. It has a really, really beautiful selection of shades. It does pull warm. Um, but yeah, it's just something, all of these palettes, when I look at them, I would have thought in my head, oh yeah, that's easy. I, you know, it, it's the same. It's the same. And really, they're not. <laughs> they're really not. And I don't know if it's because Juvia's has so many deep, dark shades in hers, but it's really not. Like I said, I don't feel like I have any palettes that would just make me say, hey, no, you have an exact dupe of that palette because I don't. But a combination of certain palettes could probably keep me from buying it. But y'all, don't be mad when you see me showing that in a haul, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, let me do a couple of easy ones because I'm already talking too much. So let's do a couple of easy ones. Now, uh, P. Louise is dropping a couple of new palettes and they have very, very beautiful uh, color stories. Ones that I would immediately jump for. The red, purple, pink, yellow color tone and then also the blue green and yellow color tone which I have these color stories over and over and over again already so I just wanted to quickly <laughs> show um the palettes that are going to keep me from buying these two palettes so for the blue and green and yellow the first palette I thought about was my certify this one is the affinity two so, you know, a lot of the OGs know about this palette. I don't even know if they still sell this palette, if they're still in business. Child, I don't know. But this definitely came to mind um, when I saw the blue and green and yellow. Now, this palette does not have the yellow in there, which is okay with me because I don't really wear yellow eyeshadow. <laughs> like, unless I'm specifically trying to do a yellow eye look which I have before. Check it out on my channel. It came out really popping. But um, I typically don't really do... Yellow is a nice shade for blending out other shades as well. But yeah, I don't have to have it. I have yellows in other palettes. But this palette for sure is going to keep me from buying that palette. And then I also have this palette here from Becca Muse. I don't know the name of this palette because they didn't put their names on these. But... This palette is from Becca Muse, and as you can see, this one actually does have yellow in it, and it's the same colors, the blues, the greens, the light blues, the, you know, teals and whatnot, exact same vibe, exact same feel, so yeah, I'm probably not going to buy that, unless it goes on some type of crazy sale, okay, but yeah, I'm going to try not to buy that, <laughs> so next, uh, for the pink and purple and red and yellow, um, I have this other Certify. 
okay same brand this is the actual affinity palette so this one looks like this okay so it is super duper similar i see on their palette they go really really deep on their palettes so they have like some deeper darker purples it looks like and blues and greens for theirs but honey this is close enough okay this is close enough and it has the yellows in there you know so yeah that for sure will keep me from buying that i also have this palette from xyz Cos cosmetics called the dreamer okay i've had this for a while and i've been dying to use this y'all dying to use it now as you can see lots of purples and pinks it doesn't have like the reds oranges and yellows but there's plenty of purples and pinks in here to keep me from buying that now this next palette also does not have like the kind of orangey yellow feel to it but and i'm looking at the picture down here if you guys are wondering what i'm looking at but this is the moon spell volume 2 from lunar beauty even though it doesn't have you know like i said all the yellows and oranges and stuff it still has purples pinks reds you know enough to get me through the day all right so this palette really really pretty but also you know it came to mind when i saw these palettes so decided to go ahead and pull that and take a look at it and then lastly the jacqueline hill and morphe this is the volume two so you guys know the huge white ones volume two and it's basically the exact same color story basically you know you got your purples your pinks your reds your yellows with some neutrals thrown in black and white so yeah this is just like a more well-rounded version of that so now for quality you know i can't i can't say you know as far as uh your choice in quality but as far as color story goes these will keep me from buying those two palettes. Now this next palette from Clarity Cosmetics, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm probably gonna buy it. I'm probably gonna buy it, okay? It, it would take a lot to get me to not buy it. I love Clarity's color stories, their layouts, their formula for the most part, their shimmers definitely, but sometimes, you know, I get a palette or some, some shimmers or mattes or something where I'm like, eh, it's not my favorite. But for the most part, clarity kills it you know i really really do like their formula their shimmers are to die for though so anyways this palette here this croc palette um immediately when i saw the color story i'm like uh yeah i don't know why but i really really love like the earthy warm rich you know just like camo vibe color story like, you know, those greens and browns and tans and golds and, you know, all that kind of stuff, like gunmetal sh uh, shimmers and stuff. It just immediately gets me. It's so pretty to me. But anyways, this is quick because I don't have, at least in my mind, any palettes with those shimmers like that and those i could probably dupe it with singles but just thinking of a palette the only one that came to mind was this one from glam shop glam w moro and it's this camel palette here and i actually used it did a look with it that i love to death okay but this is the only palette that i thought of in my collection that i could possibly say you know is similar to that and it doesn't have like that really really deep rich it kind of looks like a burgundy type shade um and a really beautiful like gold shimmer like I said, I could probably dupe that out, but this is the only thing that came to mind that might even come close because the shimmers in here are remarkable. Y'all, I really shouldn't be swatching because this video should not be this long. I really, I talk too much. I talk too much. So anyways, but the shimmers in this palette are really, really pretty, you know, absolutely gorgeous. So I feel like, um, 
this might would be the closest. Let me see if I have this darker shimmer in here. I can swatch. Uh, oh, that's not even that dark. Making a mess. Yeah, that's not even that dark, really. Well, let me see. It's darker, but... Yeah, but you see these, you know, these shimmers are gorgeous, really, really pretty, but I don't know. I'm looking at that really pretty dark green, dark burgundy, that super beautiful gold, and it's just like, girl, you gonna buy that. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, like, I don't even know why I'm, why I'm trying to sit here trying to front. I'm gonna buy that. Anyway. But yeah, I can't, if you guys can think of any other palettes that have those shades in them that you think I probably have, let me know in the comment section because honestly, this was the only one that I felt like even came close, okay? But yeah, that palette is probably going to get bought by your girl. Okay, so this next drop is actually going to be pretty easy for me to pass on. I believe this one is from MBA Cosmetics. I do have some singles from them already <clears throat> but i think they're either all mattes or mostly mattes i think they're all mattes actually that i have in singles from mba cosmetics now this caught my eye of course because i love multi-chromes love beautiful shimmers and everything like that but if you're familiar with my channel or my collection you know that i already have a lot and I don't use them as often as I would like to. So most likely I'm, I'm not going to buy this. But I did want to kind of show you some shadows that I have in my collection. Which are the reason why I'm not going to buy these. Even though these are absolutely stunning. <laughs> okay. But I do have my Cleona stained glass shadows. Okay. If you're familiar with Cleona Cosmetics. This is my palette, you know, my that I have them in my singles palette that's just for them but as you can see I have a really really nice array of shades from Cleona that really just keep me from buying a lot of other multi-chromes and <laughs> and duo chromes and whatnot um let me just swatch a few for you so you can get an idea of what it is that I mean so, yeah. So, my shades that I have are just so remarkably gorgeous that, you know, and you really, it's hard for me to show the shifts, but let me see here. Yeah, you can kind of see the shifts there. But, yeah, with my Cleonas, it's like I really don't, since I don't do a lot of comparison videos for these type of shades... I don't buy a lot of them because I have more than enough just for me to use for my own collection. But I also have some from JD Glow that I really, really love. Now, one of my favorite brands for like multi-chromes and stuff is Terra Moon, okay? But I immediately, with these, I immediately thought of my JD Glow because I have these down here. These absolutely gorgeous shades here from JD Glow. And let me go ahead and just swatch a few of those as well. I'll swatch them going this way. So without me making too much of a mess, I'm just using my viewfinder. So, okay. So there. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. So. Yeah, I know they're like all over the place. Sorry. But you can even see those gorgeous shifts right there in those shades from JD Glow. But yeah, like I said, I have a really, really large collection of different <laughs> multi -chrome. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Ciao. That's pretty. Anyways, but I have a large collection. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy those. They're gorgeous, but I just wanted to put those out there just in case you're looking for some new ones to buy. Those are dropping if they haven't dropped already. It's like a set of four. So, yeah, that one's easy for me to pass on, though. Okay, so this next palette is what really 
was the catapult or the catalyst for this whole video because I saw this pattern and immediately wanted it, but I was like, do I want to pay $25 for this a palette that's this big? Do I? No. <laughs> so this palette started the whole, you know, ball rolling on this. Let me try not to buy these palettes. But this one was a little bit more difficult for me, even though it seemed like it would be mad easy. I couldn't figure out what that deep dark shimmer was because to me it looked like kind of green you know in the picture it looks like it's pulling kind of like a deep really deep like foresty cool tone green but it's like I couldn't really tell is it like a more of a gunmetal is it more gray and the picture's just making it look green I don't know so as far as the other shades go like that really pretty like light silvery mauvey shimmery shade I'm like okay I can kind of you know just pick a shade out of my collection that I like that kind of is similar to that and keep it pushing but that deep dark gunmetal green or whatever it is I, I like that so anyway as far as the kind of like mauvey shades just to get those out the way for me I feel like those will be kind of easy for me to copy a copycat um, so I pulled the Menage Moi from ColourPop, you know, and that is what the packaging looks like, really pretty. And this is what the palette looks like on the inside. As you can see, it has like the mauve kind of peachy tones in there, giving me the same feels, really giving me the same feels. You know, it has this really pretty dark shade. It has like the lighter shades in here, even this shade is kind of giving me the feels, you know, from the one that's in this palette. You know, as far as I'm concerned, close enough, right? Close enough. <laughs> and if not close enough, I have another ColourPop palette. This one is Gata Agate. Is it, honey? These names, y'all know I'm slow, so. But this is what this palette looks like, right? So, you know, it has like the deeper dark plummy type shade here. It has like lighter shade here. It even has a really pretty shimmer up here. And, you know, I'm like, since I don't know exactly what these shades look like, I just kind of have to go off of my eyeballs and what I'm looking at. I also pulled this Super Shock Shadow set to stun. I'm really trying to get more use out of my Super Shock Shadows, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, I buy them and don't use them, so I really need to use them. But I was like, okay, that's pretty enough to me, <laughs> you know? As far as, you know, just kind of like if I want, you know, a really pretty kind of mauve toned shimmer in there, which that one looks kind of more silver, silvery in my opinion. So let me swatch this shimmer in here and see how I feel about it. But like I said, that really isn't my concern for this palette. See, that's really pretty right there. That's really, really pretty. Um, But that shimmer is not really my concern for this palette, okay? <laughs> Nor are the mattes because, like I said, I feel like my Menage a Moi has me covered. So I pulled this Super Shock Shadow, which is called Shameless. Absolutely gorgeous really beautiful deep dark forest green dark base a little bit of shimmer shimmer going on so i pulled this because this one is kind of getting old actually it's not picking up as easy as i would like i pulled this because it is deep and dark and it has kind of like that green tone gun you know gunmetal type green in there not sure if that's really going to do it for me though not sure at all. I feel like, eh, I probably need to buy a new one. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. This might be one of the palettes that's getting bought because... <sighs> yeah, that's just one of those palettes where it's just like, mm, it's easier for me to just buy it. And 
they on sale, okay? <laughs> they just dropped and they just put the made mugs on sale. So they're like, instead of $25, they're like $17, okay? So. <laughs> anyway, this next palette, okay, yo. I need to see, has this dropped already or not? Because this is one that might get bought, okay? So this is from a brand that I don't have anything from. It's called Inslee Rain. So they're releasing a palette called the Cosmic Dreamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like this palette is catering to maybe, you know, those that like a lot of grunge, that like deeper shades, that like, you know, to really go there with their shadow. That's what I'm getting from this. And I don't have any palettes like this. I don't. So yeah, I just pulled a couple that kind of, you know, give me that same like deep, dark kind of grunge feel. But honey, I don't think these are going to work as far as keeping me from buying it. I don't no, though. I don't know. You never know. So anyways, I have this palette here. It's the 669. And this one is from Martine Cosmetics. You guys know, well, if you watch my channel, it was kind of hard for me to buy this because I didn't know what that 669 meant. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, this palette, I love this color story. This just dark, deep, grungy, just like smoky type vibe i really really love it now what i love about this palette that's coming out it has a lot of the beautiful greens in there it looks like it might have like a really pretty gunmetal shimmer you know those burgundies it just looks like something that i would really really love to have in my collection so although this palette gives me those type of feels i don't know that i really get you know, like the vibe from the shimmers in here that I'm getting from what I can see in this picture. Like I'm not seeing, you know, just one clear, complete picture of the palette, but just look, see, looking at what I can see, I want it, okay? I pulled my Arcana from Shroud Cosmetics. Um, this is what this looks like. So this one has more pops of color in there. Uh, just looking at it now, I feel like this, the background for this palette makes it feel more deep and dark and mysterious than it actually is. Because some of the shades in here are actually quite bright. You know, this pink, this mustard, this blue, even this green is, you know really bold bright colors so yeah no that ain't gonna work and then lastly i pulled my ace Beauté tropical vibes so even with this with the beautiful greens that are in here the pops are just too bright they're too bright they're not giving me the same vibe the same feel at all you know the blue is bright the yellows are bright the greens eh, somewhat muted but you know this orange is kind of muted too. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have like the deep dark. It has this one dark plum shade. So yeah, even nine, none of these are making me say, don't buy that palette. Okay, so y'all know what that means. <laughs> Save the date. Okay, now this palette, I'm gonna be hard pressed not to buy. I'm not even gonna lie. This is that, um, what is it? The Haunted Pumpkin palette from Give Me Glow. When I saw it immediately teased, it was just like, okay, yeah. I love that color story. The oranges, the teals, the shimmers, just in. In here, you can see they have that really pretty, like beautiful orange toned shimmer. <laughs> That's just like, that I was looking for earlier. And I actually pulled, you know, those same Super Shock shadows to get that same feel. So now that I know that I pretty much have that covered, I'm good. But yeah, this one here, this one gonna be hard not to buy. Even though it's coming out after Halloween, the color story is gorgeous. So yeah, let's just go ahead. Initially, when I first saw this, I was like, 
that color story reminds me of something. Like I have that color story. I know I do. But in reality, I don't have that color story, but I do have palettes that give me that same feel, that same vibe. And funny enough, these are from Juvia's Place. So these two little palettes from Juvia's Place really give me that feel. It's the Olori 1 and the Olori 3. So let me just show you what these two palettes look like. Okay, so this one... Let me show you separately first. This one is the one. And this one is the three. Okay. So now when I put these two palettes together, it's a really, really beautiful color story. It, it really is just as a unit. So you see the beautiful teals, the aqua, you know, the aqua shimmers, dark one lighter one you have the orange you know with the peachy tones in there you know the lighter peachy tones and then you have like this really deep dark um you know brown shade bricky brown you have pretty gold shimmer um you know the light blue might be kind of throwing it off a bit but honestly these two palettes right here really give me a lot of those vibes. It doesn't have like that gray tone in there that's really, really pretty. And then that really, really deep, deep dark brown that almost looks like, you know, charcoal, but it's really, really dark. But for the basic theme of that palette, I get that from this, which is really, really nice, you know, because I like Juvia's Place. Now... Also, for some of those really, really pretty shimmers, like I said, I pulled my color pops, you know, for the orangey toned ones. Sorry about the glare, you guys. But then I also pulled um, some more super shocks that kind of like give me the vibe of the aquas or teal shades that are in there. So let me just open these up, okay? So these are the two that I pulled, you know, for the kind of like aqua and teal shades in that palette. Really, really pretty. This one is actually really pretty. I need my glasses because child. This one is from the Disney Princess Collection. It's called Touch the Sky. So that one is Touch the Sky from the Disney Princess Collection. And this one here is Empire. So it's just a regular Super Shock shadow called Empire. Yeah, you know, those with these other Super Shock shadows mixed in with the mattes, I think will work out just fine for me. Um, but like I said, this one is going to be really, really hard to pass up. Okay, so let's do one more because honestly, I could do this all day, okay? <laughs> but this palette from Cosmic Brushes, I've been trying to get my hands on this palette forever but it keeps selling out and everything. And I know it's a relaunch coming up. The relaunch probably will, will already have happened uh, by the time I put up this video. So you guys will just have to see if I caved and still bought this palette. But even still, I kind of was just looking at this color story like, I have those shades. I have those shades. I don't need this palette. I have those shades. But honey, with these swatches, it's like they make it so hard for a color lover like your girl to say no. I don't, it's like no matter how many times I have these shades, just the way that they put them together, baby, it's just gorgeous. So, anyway, I was just looking through some of my palettes, like trying to talk myself out of buying it. And of course, you know, you look at these shades in here, you got your lavenders. You got your like teal, turquoise type shades, your beautiful deep dark blues, some greens thrown in. You know, they threw that peach in there to kind of throw you off and then they give you like one brown to play with. But this just arrangement and color story is just, it brings me to my knees every time I see it. So... The first two palettes that I have that um, I just want to kind of show you guys 
is very, very similar to this color story are the new Scooby-Doo palettes. So the two new Scooby-Doo palettes really, really have a lot of the feels and the vibes from this palette, from the purples, the turquoises, to the really deep, dark blues, to the beautiful greens even. It really, really does. Lord, don't let me drop these palettes because I will scream, okay? But if you just look at the colors in this palette, the beautiful bright lime green even, the lavender, the deep dark blues, deep dark greens, you know, the turquoise aqua shades. It's like these two palettes right here really cover a good portion of that palette, okay? They really do. And ciao, listen, okay? I'm just like, you don't need it, but I want it. So anyways, also perusing through my palettes, I found this and I'm like, when did I buy this? This is a Morphe palette. It's the 9Z, just say Zen. The packaging alone is like bomb, okay? But I'm like, I don't even remember buying this, you guys. But look at the color story in here. The beautiful dark blue, the purple, the, you know, um, like aqua blue shades. It even has like a couple little neutrals thrown in there just to help you out with an eye look. But, you know, it's just beautiful. The lavenders, the blues, it's just, it gives me that same vibe, that same feel. Of course, it's on a much smaller scale. You know, even with that peach that they threw in there, it's like, this is just a lighter, much lighter version of it. But yeah, this palette, I was like, oh, she cute. Okay, didn't even know I had her. So that's another reason why I like digging through my palettes because... You forget about stuff, you know, when you have an extensive collection. Now, these two palettes I wanted to show as well that kind of have some of the same shades and vibes for this palette. These are from P. Louise. I just got these recently. These are part of their Money Stack Em Up collection. So I have this blue one, which is Say Less, and then I have the green one, which is Invest in Yourself, babe. <laughs> so... Say less, do more, and invest in yourself, babe, okay? So let me just put these two together so you can see, you know, kind of the vibes that I'm talking about, especially with those beautiful grungy greens that they put in there. Let me not blind you guys. But those grungy greens that they threw in there just to kind of add a little spice to this palette, okay? And then... The blues, of course, absolutely gorgeous. Now there's a black in this palette from Cosmic Brushes. So I have plenty of blacks. I don't need that, but you know, it's like, yo. Now I know I already have a palette from Cosmic Brushes. So I know that their shimmers are really, really pretty. And you guys know I have a lot of really, really pretty shimmers. So I'm sure Whatever they have in this palette, I can dupe it as well. But just with these palettes I have here, I really don't need that palette. But like I said, I believe that palette is dropping today. So you guys will find out whether I bought it or not. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here because i talked way too long. My stomach is growling. I need to edit this video for you guys. And I had a lot of fun, okay? So it's gonna be so exciting to see you guys, which of these palettes I actually buy, you know, in the future, which ones you guys will see on my channel or see that I did grab because y'all know me. I'm liable to buy all of these palettes. <laughs> Okay, because I'm not always that great at talking myself out of them. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!